Hello, in this video, we're going to do some calculus. We're going to find the derivative of this function, g of z. It's equal to 2z times uh, 3z squared minus z plus 1, and the whole thing is to the fourth power. And the question is to find g prime of z, which is the derivative. Let's work through it. So there is a formula we're going to use. Uh, it's called the product rule. And normally when the product rule formula is written, people use f and g. I'm going to use um, f and h. Think of f as your first function and h is your second function. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So this is the famous product rule. Again, people usually use f and g. I'm using h because there's already a g here, but it doesn't really matter. So let's apply the product rule to our example here. So g prime of z, the derivative of the first is going to be the derivative of 2z. Well, the derivative of 2z is just 2 times the second. That's our h plus the first, which is just 2z, times the derivative of the second. So here's where we use that chain rule uh, because we have an inside function here. So we bring down the 4, leave that inside function untouched, subtract 1 from the exponent. So, so far all I've done is take the derivative of the outside, left the inside untouched, times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be 6z minus 1. Right, because 2 times 3 is 6, subtract 1 from the exponent, um, so you're going to get 6z uh, minus 1. All right, so let's, let's clean this up a little bit. g prime of z. So it's 2 parentheses 3z squared minus z plus 1 to the fourth. And here, uh, this is just going to be 8z. And I'm going to put this in the front, okay? So I'm going to write it like this. 8z, 6z minus 1, and then... I'm going to write this down again, 3z squared minus z plus 1 cubed. So all we've done here is basically multiply the 2z and the 4, and I wrote this out front. That's the only thing I've done from going from here to here. So now I think we're in a better place where we can factor. So the 2 and the 8 have a common factor of 2, and then we want to factor out one of these, so we choose the one that has the smaller exponent always. So this will be 3z squared minus z plus 1. And now we ask ourselves, okay, so these are things we're factoring out. What do we write here so that when we multiply this by whatever is here, we get this? We've already got a 2. We're basically missing... Uh, oh, I pulled up the wrong thing here. This is a 3. We're basically missing 3z squared minus z plus 1 to the first power because when you multiply here, you add the exponents, right? 3 plus 1 is 4. Here we're missing a 4z, right? Because 4z times 2 is 8z. And we're also missing the 6z minus 1. Pretty, pretty cool factoring. Let's keep going. g prime of z is equal to 2 parentheses 3z squared minus z plus 1 cubed. And let's just clean this up. 3z squared minus z plus 1. 4z times 6z is 24z squared. And then 4z times negative 1 is negative 4z. All right? So just 4z times negative 6z is that. 4z times negative 1 is negative 4z. Continuing, we have two parentheses. 3z squared minus z plus 1 cubed. And let's combine our z squareds here. So it looks like we have 3z squared plus 24z squared. It's going to give us 27z squared. Negative z minus 4z is negative 5z. So it takes care of those. And then we just have this 1 hanging out. And that, my friends, is the correct answer to this problem. So, yeah. Hopefully you found some value in this content. If you did, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. Also, if you want to learn math, check out my courses, mathsorcerer.com. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.